Hey everyone, so I was coming out here to my truck, just uh, kind of looking over some things over. Pop the hood, open it up. I was going to talk to y'all about uh, the brake master cylinder. It's leaking a whole lot of brake fluid. And I was going to tell y'all that when that time comes, I was going to show y'all how to replace this. But then I noticed something else. A rat nest. And this is what I found. The rat has been chewing through my spark plug wires. And the one thing that gets me mad <clears throat> is that at the old house I used to live at, had my truck parked outside. And the rat chewed through the main wire going to the distributor cap leading up. And I was just puzzled one day and then finally I saw that the wire was like split in half. And I just replaced those, and now I have to replace them again because of a stupid rat. So, yeah. This is what happens when you live out in the country, though. I mean, it, it is what it is. But the good news is, remember when my transmission was right there? Well, my wife picked it up, put it in the van. She's getting ready to haul it off to uh, an auto shop so they can replace the center shaft bearing, and then once I get that replaced, then finally, I can get my truck going. Just have to put the transmission in there. That's the easy part, just piecing it back together, putting the transmission in there. You, those of you who are probably watching this video there are master mechanics, y'all probably laughing at me like, what, you can't do a center shaft bearing? Well, I never did a manual before. I can drop a transmission, just can't do a center shaft bearing. But anyway, and uh, but now that, that's the only thing I've found so far was it eight up wires? It looks like it's only two. The one leading to the third spark plug back here and then the fourth one going to the back. So, look, my engine rocks. <gasps> Cause there's no transmission in there. But, uh, just seems like one of them things I can't win for losing, so. But that's what I get for having my truck parked in my shop. We've been having rat problems anyway, so. That's what happens when you have chickens, goats, and you know, just rats feel like they're part of the farm too. Don't you just love it? <laughs> but hopefully I can get this truck running. I miss this truck. So, but I haven't even taken that apart yet. See if there's any rats in there or whatever. But he just making a home and stuff. Guess I need a, I, I've been putting screening on the outside of my shop. I'll show y'all in a second, but I bought this, when we bought this house, there was some things that just need to be updated. This is a screening that I'm putting up. As you can see the light right there, there's just a supposed light. So I've been cutting this out in sections and then hammering little staple nails. Like some of it's boarded up. There's wood up there. But then you just have some that are exposed. And so I've just been putting this little mesh screen in, trying to prevent something like this happening, like rodents wanting to come in. So, but that's, that's life. I mean, stuff happens. So, but yeah, this is my truck. And as I was gonna get to the part that I was originally gonna get to it, this is the brake master cylinder. That's your power booster. This was uh, going out at the same time the transmission was going out. So I just figured why spend money to replace that now when the biggest issue is the transmission. So I've been putting my money into the transmission. So that's pretty much it. And I don't like the way that looks. My clutch reservoir is empty too. But that makes sense because I dropped the transmission. So, y'all got to forgive me. I'm kind of tired. I've been, my brain isn't working right. So, just one of those days, you know, when you have three kids and a fourth on the way, you just, your brain just starts dysfunctioning. You just can't operate fully. But yeah, the reason the clutch master owner's out is because the transmission been dropped. So 
it sometimes when I have to think on it real hard, it's like, ugh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna see what else is wrong with this since the rat chewed through the wires. And it seems like that seems that that's the number one thing they'd like to do. Like, you got all these wires going everywhere. Like everywhere. But they want to get the spark plug wires. It's probably because of all the padding. Like there's there's stuff in there. Like uh, I don't know. Just just confuses me why rats go after spark plug wires and nothing else. So but yeah, this is it, and I hope y'all will stay tuned when I start doing the brake master cylinder and when I start doing the transmission, except for I won't be able to wear the GoPro on my head when I do the transmission, because sometimes I have a tendency to kind of hit my head and knock it around a few times, and I know y'all don't want that on camera. Or looking at the underbelly of the truck while I'm sitting there like, this is how you do it, and then all you see is like just frame. <laughs> But, <clears throat> yeah, but this is a, uh, hope y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all like my uh, videos. And if you want to see more of whatever, just comment, let me know. All right, thank you.